Hi, it's Travis White with the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. Let's talk about innovation in the marketplace and how companies may innovate and offer new services or new products to their customers or prospective customers. And we can distinguish between two types of innovation, a sustaining innovation and a disruptive innovation. And let me start with an example. Let's say you're the strategist in charge of a major film company like Kodak. And you know that customers want sharper, clearer images. So a sustaining innovation would be to improve your film stock, improve your film quality, so that your customers could get sharper, clearer images when they take their pictures. That would be a sustaining innovation. A disruptive innovation, on the other hand, does something different. And in this case, it might be digital photography. So digital photography, if you recall back in the early days, was not better than film. It was not sharper. It was not clearer. But it was different. It was less costly in some ways. It was much more convenient. You didn't have to send your film in to have it developed. And it was um, uh, very simple and very convenient to use. In fact, one of the key advantages was you could take the picture and then look at the back of the camera and see exactly what the picture was. You didn't have to wait for a week for the film to come back from the, uh, from the developing lab. So one was a sustaining, the other was a disruptive. What do most companies want to do? Oftentimes, they, they listen to their customers, they listen closely to their customers, and they want to do more sustaining innovations, offer things that offer more clarity, more sharpness, more performance uh, that the customer is willing to pay for. The disruptive uh, innovation, we often think of new innovations as being bigger or stronger or more capable or higher performance uh, or more energetic in some way than what's already on the market. But what's really true of disruptive uh, innovations is that they're often smaller they're cheaper, they're more convenient. Certainly in the example of film versus digital photography early on in the process, the digital was not better, was not sharper, not clearer, but it was more convenient, often less expensive, and certainly easier to use in many ways. So it's easy for the company who dominates the market, a film company, to say, that's just a toy. Why would anybody want to do that? That's something that we can, that it might have a market with some other customers, but not our customers. That will never reach our customers. They will never defect from us because what they want is more uh, sharpness, clarity, more quality. But what happens with that little disruptive innovation? Well, it's often it's finding its own little market, and finding a market is sometimes a difficult thing to do. But as the technology then settles and improves, it improves and improves and improves until it's good enough to compete with, in this case, with film. Um, and then, because it's less expensive, because it's more convenient, because it's easier to use, because it has a better user interface, perhaps, it starts to displace the higher quality, more traditional technology. And that's exactly what happened in the film market. Digital replaced film. And it wasn't because digital was better than film at the beginning. In fact, it was worse than film at the beginning but it was less expensive, it was more convenient, it was easier to use, and once it got stabilized, it started to improve until it was good enough, and it was good enough to compete with film. So, here's some lessons for you. If you're the strategist for a technology company, you see a new technology evolving, it looks like a toy, don't treat it as a toy, because once it gets settled down and once it starts to mature, it will be very competitive with you. And so I, I think of a, like being on a small boat in the ocean, and you see a fish coming up from below you, and you think, oh, it's just a small fish, I don't have to worry about it. But then as it gets closer to you, you see it's a huge whale, and it comes up and disrupts your boat and flips you into the water, and you're out of luck. So don't dismiss uh, new, new technologies that come up in parallel spaces and parallel markets. Don't dismiss them as toys. Take them very seriously. Over time, they could disrupt your markets. So that's the persuasive communication tip of the day. See you again next week.